Today we will see examples related to the division of integers. Payal, Hina and Ankit all have a card. Each of these cards has a statement of division written on it. Looking at these statements, Payal thinks that the quotient of all divisions will be different. Hina thinks that the quotient of all divisions will be same. And according to Ankit, the quotient of only minus 120 divided by 12 and 120 divided by minus 12 will be equal. Who do you think is right? Let's solve the first statement. Minus 120 divided by 12. Here, the negative integer is being divided by the positive integer. To solve this, first we will divide the numerical value of minus 120, that is, 120 by the numerical value of plus 12, that is 12. Its quotient will be 10. When a negative integer is divided by a positive integer, the quotient is negative. Therefore, the quotient of minus 120 divided by 12 will be minus 10. In the second statement, a positive integer plus 120 is being divided by a negative integer minus 12. Here too, First, we will divide the numerical value of plus 120, that is, 120 by the numerical value of minus 12, that is 12. Its quotient will be 10. When a positive integer is divided by a negative integer, the quotient is negative. As a result, the quotient of 120 divided by minus 12 is minus 10. In the third statement, we have to divide minus 120 by minus 12. To solve this, First, we will divide the numerical value of minus 120, that is, 120 by the numerical value of minus 12, that is 12. Its quotient will be 10. Can you tell me what will be the sign of 10? Think. Let me tell you. In the previous video, you must have seen that when two negative integers are divided, the quotient obtained is marked with the plus sign. Minus 120 divided by minus 12. The quotient will be plus 10. If we compare the quotient of all three situations, it is found that the quotient of the first and second will be equal but not the third one. Therefore, Ankit's answer is correct. Next example. Suppose a shopkeeper represents a loss in his ledger account with a minus sign and a profit with a plus sign. He makes a loss of 2430 by selling three televisions a day. If he has to make a note of how much loss has been made on each television in his books of accounts, how will he do it? The shopkeeper represents the loss in his book of account with a minus sign and the profit with a plus sign. This example shows that the shopkeeper has a loss of rupees 2430, which can be represented by minus rupees 2430. We have to find out how much loss the shopkeeper has incurred on each television. For that, we will divide minus 2430 by 3. To obtain the quotient, first we divide the numerical value of the integers, that is the value without the sign. Doing so, we get the numerical value of the quotient as 810. As you may know that the quotient obtained by dividing a negative integer by a positive integer is negative. Therefore, when minus 2430 is divided by 3, the quotient will be minus 810. Here, the minus sign shows that the shopkeeper has incurred a loss of 810 rupees on each television. Hence, he will mention minus 810 in his ledger. Today, we have seen examples related to division of integers. In the next video, we will clear up certain misconceptions related to them.